I'm David Toman, author of Nootropics Expert and this YouTube channel. In this video, you'll discover how long it takes for omega-3s to work. In other words, how long do you need to take omega-3s before you begin to experience its benefits? Now, this is important because omega-3s, both DHA and EPA, are critical for cognition, heart health, relieving depression, reducing inflammation, and promoting learning and memory. And many are deficient in omega-3s because of our modern imbalanced diet, which is rich in omega-6s. And if you take omega-3s on an empty stomach or without a healthy fat or oil, they will not get absorbed. So you'll not receive the benefits of omega-3s no matter how long you take them. Now, signs that you're deficient in omega-3s include brittle nails, dry skin, fatigue, poor concentration, joint pain, and even emotional issues like depression or anxiety. So, if you find this video useful, please subscribe to this channel. And hit the share button so others can learn more about omega-3s and how long it takes before they'll feel the benefits of using their omega-3 supplement. So let's get started and take a deeper dive into how long it takes for omega-3 to work. That's next. Omega-3s are critical for optimal cognition and overall good health. The omega-3s, DHA and EPA, are essential for heart health, relieving depression, reducing inflammation, learning and memory, and repairing and growing new brain cells. But if you added fish oil or an omega-3 supplement, like the new Performance Lab Omega-3 to your daily nootropic stack, how long does it take for the omega-3 to work? How soon can you experience these health benefits? In this video, you'll learn what omega-3s are and what happens when you start taking an omega-3 supplement, what it feels like, and get a clear idea about how long it takes for an omega-3 supplement to work. Omega-3 is an essential fatty acid, the essential because omega-3 is critical for optimal brain and overall health. Omega-3s come in three types, ALA, EPA, and DHA. ALA fatty acids come from plants, and EPA and DHA are found primarily in oily fish like salmon, herring, mackerel, anchovies, and sardines, which get their omega-3s in the wild from algae. Your body cannot produce this type of fat, which means that to maintain healthy levels of omega-3s, you need to get it from food. But instead of getting adequate amounts of omega-3s, most people continue to be deficient. And here's why. You could be low in omega-3s because you're not eating enough seafood high in EPA and DHA, or the omega-3 supplement you're using is not being absorbed by your digestive system. Now let's examine these two reasons in a little more detail for clarity. The biggest problem in our Western diet is it's loaded with omega-6 fatty acids from processed foods and cooking oils like palm, canola, soybeans, sunflower, and safflower oil. Our ancestors evolved on a diet with a ratio of omega-6 to omega-3 essential fatty acids with a ratio of 1 to 1. Our modern diet, on the other hand, maintains an unhealthy balance of omega-6 to omega-3 with a ratio of 16 to 1. Now, this unhealthy fatty acid ratio may account for many of the diseases we see in our society, including heart disease, cancer, osteoporosis, and inflammatory and autoimmune diseases. So do your best to avoid processed foods and unhealthy cooking oils loaded with omega-6 fatty acids. There is no need to eliminate them altogether, but instead increase your omega-3 fatty acid intake by eating seafoods high in EP DHA and EPA, or use an omega-3 supplement such as the Performance Lab Omega-3 every day. A diet higher in omega-3 provides an anti-inflammatory effect by suppressing interleukin-1 beta, tumor necrosis factor alpha, and interleukin-6, something omega-6 fatty acids cannot do. Another reason you could be omega-3 deficient is you're not eating enough healthy fat, and even if you're using a daily supplement. Omega-3 fatty acids are only absorbed and used by your system if taken with a fatty meal. 
Now you need enough fat to release bile salts and that emulsify and pancreatic enzymes that digest omega-3 containing lipids in your intestine. This goes for all fat soluble supplements. And if you've been following the advice offered by mainstream medicine to eat a low fat diet, you should know it's bad advice. Because without these healthy fats in your diet, you're not getting the benefit of any of the fat soluble supplements you're currently using. Now, those fat soluble supplements, including omega 3s, never make it through your digestive system for the reasons I explained earlier. And you excrete your fish oil, omega 3 or DHA supplement unused, never experiencing its benefit. If this is you, I encourage you to revisit this faulty advice and add some healthy fats back to your diet because you'll be amazed at how good you feel. And once your body and brain again have access to healthy fats, you start getting all the benefits offered by the fat soluble vitamins, minerals, and omega 3s. The fat soluble nutrients that require fat for digestion and transport so your body and brain can use them. If you have brittle nails, lifeless looking hair, dry skin, fatigue, poor concentration, joint pain, or suffer from insomnia, it could be a sign of omega-3 deficiency. Other signs of omega-3 deficiency include problems with attention, learning, and memory, and depression and anxiety, aggressive behavior, anger, or suicidal thoughts have all been linked to omega-3 deficiency. Now, I'm not saying that as soon as you start following an omega-3 supplementation regimen that you'll suddenly be cured of all your ills. There is no one-pill solution. But using a high-quality omega-3 or DHA supplement every day at recommended dosages could start you on the path to feeling better. Ask your doctor or go to the local lab and request an omega-3 index test to better understand your status. The omega-3 index is a blood test that measures the percentage of omega-3 fatty acids, that's DHA and EPA, in red blood cell membranes. For example, if you have 64 fatty acids in a cell membrane and 3 are DHA and EPA, then you have an omega-3 index of 4.6%. The omega-3 index reference range is 2.90 to 12.90%. Omega-3 index 8% or higher is the low risk zone, omega-3 index 6% or less is the average risk zone, and omega-3 index 4% or less is the high risk zone. If you're omega-3 deficient, the only way to raise your index score is by supplementing with DHA and EPA. ALA found in plants like flaxseed or chia have no impact on your omega-3 index and provide extraordinarily little health benefit. You may have seen claims that flaxseed oil is a miracle drug for skin hydration and replacing the oils in your skin may make it appear healthier, but do nothing for optimal brain health. ALA can be converted into EPA and then to DHA, but the conversion is limited to your liver and is extremely limited. Consuming DHA and EPA directly from foods rich in omega-3s and or nootropic supplements is the only practical way to increase these fatty acids in your body. Wild-caught salmon and farmed salmon supply more DHA and EPA per 100 gram serving than other forms of seafood, ranging from 717 to 1533 milligrams per one to 100 grams according to one study. The most consistent method of raising your omega-3 index levels is by using an omega-3 supplement distilled from fish oil or algae. Omega-3 supplements are available in several different forms, including natural triglycerides, free fatty acids, ethyl esters, re-esterified triglycerides, and phospholipids. Studies show one of the best and quickest ways to raise your DHA and EPA levels are using re-esterified triglycerides, 124%, compared to natural fish oil with a supplement like the Performance Lab Omega-3. Bioavailability of ethyl esters was the worst at 73%. Free fatty acids and natural triglycerides were about the same as using natural fish oil at 
Another set of studies show krill oil as the phospholipid form of DHA and EPA, where peak levels were measured in blood at the 24-hour mark. Krill oil also showed better bioavailability than reesterified triglycerides and ethyl esters falling far behind. The recommended daily dosage of omega-3s depends on your age, sex, and your health status. Health authorities around the world have released dosage guidelines for omega-3s, but they vary from authority to authority. The majority of my research has been in brain health and optimization, and I have concluded, based on peer-reviewed clinical studies, that the most effective nootropic dosage is or 1,000 milligrams of DHA every day. Your system does require EPA along with DHA, and you'll find that most DHA supplements also contain effective but smaller doses of EPA as well. Now, taking too much fish oil may weaken the immune system over time. While you would need to take a massive amount of fresh fish oil for this to be a problem, how much fish oil to take differs from person to person. The safest way to decide how much omega-3 is right for you is to get tested and then base your dosage on your omega-3 index score. Now, if you need to raise your levels, take a higher dose of DHA and EPA until you're in the no-risk zone. And the final note on dosage is to be aware that omega-3 dosage on the front of a supplement label can be wildly different than how much DHA and EPA is in each gel cap. Make sure you check the supplement facts label before you buy the supplement. And fresh is best because fish oil quickly oxidizes and oxidative stress from using a spoiled fish oil supplement is bad for your body and brain. So if it fells, smells fishy, put it back on the shelf or throw it out. And when it comes to omega-3 and fish oil supplements, the old saying, you get what you pay for, holds true. How long does it take omega-3 to work for anxiety? Well, the effects of omega-3 on anxiety can vary significantly depending on several factors, such as individual biochemistry, dosage, and the severity and cause of the anxiety. On average, however, it might take several weeks, weeks to a few months to notice improvements in anxiety symptoms after starting an omega-3 supplementation regimen. So what are the symptoms of severe omega-3 deficiency? Well, severe omega-3 deficiency may present a variety of symptoms. They include dry skin, poor memory or cognitive function, mood swings and depression, poor circulation, and increased susceptibility to illness due to immune dysfunction. It's crucial to consult with a healthcare, healthcare professional if you suspect you may be experiencing a severe omega-3 deficiency. Is it better to take omega-3 in the morning or at night? There isn't a universally agreed upon best time to take omega-3 supplements, as it can depend on factors such as digestive health and personal routines. However, some people find that it's beneficial to take them in the morning with food to help with absorption, while others prefer taking them at night because certain omega-3 supplements can cause mild, mild gastrointestinal discomfort that could be less noticeable during sleep. How long do omega-3 fish oil capsules last? The shelf life of omega-3 fish oil capsules can depend on factors such as a specific brand, the manufacturing process, and how the capsules are stored. Generally, a sealed bottle of omega-3 fish oil capsules can last for up to two years when stored in a cool, dry, dark place. It's important to always check the expiration date on the bottle and to discard any supplements that have expired or have a rancid smell. What's the best vegan omega-3 supplement? The best vegan omega-3 supplement can vary based on individual needs and preferences. However, algae-based supplements are a popular choice as they contain both EPA and DHA, two important types of omega-3 fatty acids. The Performance Lab Omega-3 is known for its high-quality vegan omega-3 supplements. Now, remember to consult with your doctor if you're uncertain about starting any new supplement regimen. Are fish oil supplements a good option to get my omega-3s? Did you know fish do not produce omega-3s? Instead, fish and other sea life get omega-3s from eating phytoplankton that consume microalgae, and they then accumulate the omega-3s in their tissues.
Now, I have found that most omega-3 dietary supplements do not contain enough DHA to be used for a nootropic value. And I have not seen a fish oil supplement yet that contains adequate amounts of DHA. Instead, you may want to consider getting your omega-3s daily from a supplement source directly from marine algae. My favorite is the Performance Lab Omega-3, which is made from Life's Omega-60. I will include a link to it in the notes section down below this video if you want to try the Performance Lab Omega-3. It's a great supplement. Omega-3s make it into your bloodstream within three to four hours after taking the supplement. And it takes about 24 hours for omega-3 levels of DHA and EPA to saturate in uh, red blood cell membranes after you take the supplement. But it can take days to even weeks of daily supplementation with omega-3s to raise your omega-3 index score. Most health professionals suggest not to exceed 4,000 milligrams of omega-3s per day. But chances are you don't need that much omega-3 unless you're treating a specific health issue. It's safe to use a supplement like the new Performance Lab Omega-3, which contains 540 milligrams of DHA and 270 milligrams of EPA per day for optimal brain health and whole body optimization with omega-3 fatty acids. So that's my report on how long it takes for omega-3 to work. If you want to see links to the studies I talked about, or go, go to nootropicsexpert.com and search for omega-3. Or click on the link that I've provided down below in the notes section of this video. Now, once you're at my website, Nootropics Expert, you'll also find the full transcript for this video. But you'll also find dozens of articles and all the well-known nootropics over on Nootropics Expert. And if you haven't already, download your free copy of Secrets of the Optimized Brain. It's nearly 100 pages and contains details in 92 of the most popular nootropics used today. And please, get a copy of the second edition of my book, Head First, The Complete Guide to Healing and Optimizing Your Brain with Nootropic Supplements. Head First, the second edition, is 962 pages and is available in hardcover, paperback, or for iPad or Kindle. You can get your copy at any major bookseller, including Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Balboa Press, Apple Books, Walmart, and others. You will find a link to these stores down below in the notes section of this video, so please get your book today. And if you could use some personal help with choosing the right nootropics or figuring out how to deal with your own brain health issues, consider booking a personal consultation with me you'll find a link to my calendar down below this video. And if you want to see more videos and all the best nootropics used today, subscribe to this channel before you leave. I'll be putting up new videos on nootropics and optimizing your brain every week. I'm David Toman, author of Nootropics Expert.